Hey everyone, it's YouTube Comp. In this video, I'm going to be talking about some of the common questions and problems I have asked to me about Camtasia Studio 6 and 7. So let's just get started. These are the most common problems I'm going to be talking about that I get asked. So first of all, the most common one is when you try to import a file, it says no codec available. So let's say I drag this right here and drag it right into the timeline. A little window pops up saying no codec available, it can't render this file, or codec error, blah, blah, blah. I have personally never found a fix for this. Um, all I could suggest is try uninstalling Camtasia, and then reinstalling it. Also try converting your file to a different format or unfortunately totally re-recording the video or you can just go online and uh, or download a program and convert the file to a new format like AVI or WMV and you can google it too it has lots of stuff in their forms about it no codec available to render this file um, it just tells you about it and it seems like a, a lot of people have this problem I've had it myself but never been able to find a fix for it so that's the first one the next one is like People tell me they post their video on YouTube and they followed everything I said to make your video HD, but it's still very small and there's tons of black boxes on the side and the video itself is very small on the YouTube player. Well, what this is is you need to make the production settings the same as the video uh, dimensions. So this right here, right click it, click properties, click details. It says it's 1280 by 800. So when you produce the video in Camtasia, you need to match the dimensions in Camtasia to the actual video dimensions. So this is 1280 by 800. So then when I go to Camtasia and I go to drag it, this pops up asking you for what your dimensions are. You need to click this and choose 1280 by 800 or whatever your dimensions are. Because if I just pressed OK right now and did 640 by 400, it would be totally messed up. You need to match the correct dimensions. So I do 1280 by 800 because that's my dimensions. So that's how you do that and then it will be widescreen and all that. Now the next thing is how to fast forward a clip or, uh, you know, like, speed up a clip so let's say I split this right here and I want this middle clip to be sped up twice as fast you're gonna right click click clip speed and then right here 100 percent is normal so let's say I want twice as fast just put 200 if you want half as fast put 50 and so forth and so on so that's how you do that alright the third thing is how to record the audio actually coming off of your computer like not out of your speakers but what you're doing on your computer like if you're playing a video game so um, so what you do that for that, like your on-screen uh, on on-screen audio, is you're gonna go down to your taskbar, right-click on the volume icon, and click Recording Devices. And then right under the Recording tab, you're gonna right-click in this white space, and it's actually gonna be like that. It's gonna look like this. You're gonna right-click and make sure you enable Show Disabled Devices. So you click that, and this should pop up right here. Your stereo mix mine is real tech high definition audio that's your um, on screen audio so then you can choose that as your uh, default recorder or use that to record and it will record your uh, on screen audio but you won't be able to do both microphone and your on screen audio just one or the other so that's how you do that um, so yeah that's about it uh, thanks for watching those are the most common problems the other last thing I can suggest is if you still have problems and you, as long as you purchased your Camtasia, you didn't rip it off with a legal serial key or whatever. I will provide this link below. They have a contact uh, them. They have a contact form on their website right here under let's see, ask a question. Okay, right here. So you put in your question here, your subject, your operating system. Make sure you give them full details. And uh, yeah, you can contact TechSmith, which is the creators of Camtasia, and maybe they can help you with your problem. So that's it, and check out the video description below. Thanks for watching.